Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to paint an easy watercolor rainy day painting. We are first going to draw our umbrella and a small part of our person underneath the umbrella. I first drew out my sketch on a separate sheet of paper, then I transferred it over to my watercolor paper. But you can draw it right onto your watercolor paper if you would like. This is a very easy drawing. All you have to do is draw an octagon, then connect all of the corners to the center. And there you have your umbrella. Then for our person, all you need is to have the curved lines in place of where you want the person's hips to be. I just drew two curved lines right underneath the umbrella. We will add the rest of the body and details later when we paint. Once I had my drawing in place, I used my washi tape to mask over my horizon line to keep the ground and sky separate with a clean, crisp line. Next, I filled my entire sky section of the painting with clean water. Then, with a very thick wash of teal blue paint and a very light wash of teal blue paint, I began painting in my sky. I took the paint straight out of the tube to get the darkest mixture possible, but I did start with the lightest wash of the blue and I began painting it all around the bottom of the sky around my person. Then I went to the very top of the painting and painted in that dark wash of teal blue paint. Then the rest of this step is just me blending these two sections together using swirling motions with my brush and also some dragging motions. I played around with it until I was happy with how it looked. I will have all of the specific paint colors and supplies I am using listed over on my blog. I'll have a link in the description box below. After the sky was completely dry, I began painting in my person's dress. I took my red paint on my brush and painted in the shape of the skirt I wanted. Then I took clean water and applied it all around the skirt, allowing the red paint to bleed into the area around it. My goal was to have this create a very loose feeling rather than having perfect, straight, clean lines. I then painted in green grass. The key for this step is to fill the entire ground area with green paint, keeping the front of the ground dark and the back of the ground lighter. I did leave a section clean to create a path. Then I took clean water to blend a light green paint into the path. I used a dry brush to pick up some wet paint just to redefine my path a little bit more to make it distinctive from where the path begins and the grass starts. Next, I filled in my umbrella with black paint. I specifically filled in each triangle on the umbrella for the most part with that black paint. Then I took that clean water on my brush and blended in the black paint around the entire umbrella. Leaving those white spaces before you blend out the paint is really going to help keep some highlighted areas even after the color is blended out all over. I also added a little bit more red paint to the skirt of my person. For this next step, I took some light brown paint and filled in the section for my person's legs. And then I tapped in some black paint right underneath the legs for some shoes. I kept the legs and the shoes very thin without a lot of detail. Then with that same black paint still on my brush, I loosely redefined my umbrella's triangle lines. Then I took just a little bit of water on my brush and I blended out the shoes into the path just to give a natural shadow. Now that we have everything the way we want it, we are going to take clean water on our large round brush and paint that clean water over the entire painting. This is going to blur out our entire sketch painting, everything we just did. And for our last step, after everything dried, I added some lines on the girl holding the umbrella. These arms are pretty much hidden behind the person's body, but adding them gives those final details to this painting to where we can finally call it done. And there you have a loose rainy day watercolor painting. This painting will be for sale over on my Etsy shop. I'll have a link in the description box below if you would like to check that out. Thanks so much for following along today. Here are a few more watercolor tutorials you may also like.